I'm John Sadler of Sadler Insurance, and we've been the endorsed insurance provider for Dixie Softball for many years. I'd like to take a few minutes today to talk to you about how to protect yourself, your players, and your volunteers for the upcoming season. You can find out everything you need to know about insurance and risk management on our website. You just go to SadlerSports.com, go to Get a Quote, and then go to Dixie Softball, click on that, and you go to our Dixie Softball page. On this page, you can scroll down and you can quickly find the per team rates for accident and general liability. And scroll down further and you can see the, the cost for directors and officers liability, crime, and equipment as well. Now, if you're new to insurance, scroll up and go to the quick education section and follow these links here uh, and learn more about the risk of going uninsured or underinsured, 11 reasons why the Dixie Softball Insurance Program blows away the competition, coverage descriptions for all five policies, and why you really need all five of them, and what you need to know before you apply for coverage. And furthermore, you can scroll down to the risk management section and find all of our risk management content uh, on very important matters, uh, child abuse, molestation, concussions, uh, lightning safety, bleacher collapse, uh, and a number of other serious risks and, and how you can mitigate them. Now, if you want to renew your insurance, you scroll up and you click on this link to renew now, and it's a new feature we've added. The uh, insurance renewals are now pre-filled with your last year's information, which cuts down on the number of keystrokes you have to enter. So basically, you just have to edit your information, and it's a very fast process. But if you're new and applying for the first time, you, you go click on this red link here. In about uh, five or 10 minutes, uh, you can get your quote. You can complete the screens. You can pay by check or ACH. And you can print off your proof of coverage documents and your certificates for field owners. And after you apply for coverage, you will receive an email that has a link back to all of your coverage docs, and you'll be able to use that link to self-issue any new certificates 24-7. We aggressively negotiate your insurance rates on each renewal to make sure that you're not overpaying, and we do represent virtually all of the sports insurance carriers in the marketplace so you know that our prices are going to always be competitive. And I can tell you that our per team rates have been very stable and they're actually lower than they were 15 years ago, which is incredible when you take into account annual medical inflation. And as an attorney and risk manager, I can tell you that broad coverage in terms of high limits and the avoidance of problem exclusions are very important to me. If you buy from the endorsed insurance program, you'll automatically exceed your rulebook insurance requirements for travel teams and tournament hosts, which can be quite technical, and you're going to sail through your credentials committee meeting. Otherwise, if you buy elsewhere, you may not meet the technical requirements and you may end up having to purchase your insurance through us anyway. This is what I think you need to concentrate on based on my 35 years of experience. First, you need to buy the best insurance available on 100% of your regular season teams through the endorsed insurance plan. But buying the best insurance is not enough. You still need to practice some basic risk management to prevent the injury or lawsuit from happening in the first place. It's key to appoint a risk management officer to be in charge of pulling everything together. And we provide all of the content under the risk management section of our insurance webpage to make this job easy. I'm going to cover child abuse and concussion in a minute. You definitely need to collect a waiver release agreement on behalf of all players and adult participants. They're definitely worth the paper they're written on and electronic waiver releases are upheld by the courts. We provide some excellent sample forms. We're seeing more frequent cases of violence between coaches, umpires, and spectators. We've published an excellent blog that includes tips on how to prevent these occurrences with strict codes of conduct and sanctions for violations. You also need to be aware of the risk of bleacher collapse, lightning, and heat illness. We have excellent articles that explain how to manage these risks as well. 
You should require all of your vendors to provide you with their certificates of insurance so that their insurance can take the hit instead of yours. This includes all of your vendors such as field maintenance, concessions, and umpire associations. And before you sign a facility lease agreement, you need to read our blog on this topic to get some negotiation tips. These leases can be very unfair because they frequently make you assume the liability even if the facility is 100% negligent. And once again, we provide all the materials to help you in all of these areas. The major concern from a liability perspective is sex abuse and molestation lawsuits or SAM lawsuits. They've absolutely killed the sports insurance industry with a number of million dollar settlements and this coverage may not be available in the future unless we can figure out how to control this risk. The insurance carriers are serious about strict SAM risk management compliance, which includes proof that you've run criminal background checks and that you comply with the new federal Safe Sport Act. Our general liability policy offers a $1 million sublimit for SAM coverage, but what you need to know is that you will void your own coverage unless you do three things. Number one, you must run criminal background checks with acceptable results on all of your managers, coaches, and other authorized adult participants in the league who have repetitive access and close contact with minor athletes. And number two, you must have written prevention policies and procedures in place to prevent an incident. And number three, you must have a written requirement to notify law enforcement within 24 hours in the event of a suspicion. In your franchise document, all leagues agree to adopt and implement the Child Abuse Risk Management Plan that Dixie Softball has published on its website. If you adopt and implement your official Child Abuse Risk Management Plan, you're going to automatically meet the insurance requirements for having a written risk management plan. But you also need to be able to prove that this document was distributed to all of your adult staff and that they've uh, agreed uh, in writing or an electronic agreement that they've reviewed the plan and will comply. Furthermore, this should put you in compliance with the Federal Safe Sport Act. Concussions account for about 7% of total injuries in youth softball and they can have serious consequences. Some state laws require youth sports organizations to have written concussion risk management plans. These laws usually require CDC online coach training for your coaches. It requires them to watch a video and to pass a test. CDC educational handouts for coaches and parents. And that you have written policies and procedures for concussion identification, removal, return to play protocols, and medical clearance. And we have an excellent risk management plan on concussions on our webpage that you can adopt for your use. We wish you the best for the upcoming season and remember for complete information on insurance and risk management go to our website at sadlersports.com and click on the link to Dixie Softball. We're also available by email, phone, or chat to answer your questions with our highly trained staff. Thank you.